Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Pathfinder Kingmaker Enhanced Edition with me, Bring It Dawn. So we need to go find Mim Wobble Gander at Talon Peak. Alright, so I think that's just Lindsay and the storyteller wanting to talk to me about the cursed uh, hilltop. And we'll deal with that after we find Mim. I think this quest may have been bugged for me last time. I don't actually remember completing it. I know a lot of people had trouble finding Mim, like she wasn't appearing at Talon Peak, where she's supposed to be. Serves you right. Their life ends here. So I don't I only ever completed this quest. Wait, story. Come on, there we go. Collect all, and away we go. Also, thank goodness for Kaisi and the twenty percent faster movement through mountains. It's uh, saving us a lot of time here, because I think this would normally take like two days to get here. Well, maybe not quite two. So I think it's only 20% faster. Also, I'm going to apologize in advance. My cat's getting a little antsy in the background. And I tried to give him what he wanted before I started recording, but he refused to accept anything. Because I, I, he was acting like he wanted out of the office. So I tried to let him out, and he refused to go out. So I was like, alright, we'll stay in. And then, uh... I thought maybe he wanted food, so I gave him gave him a small treat. Because he is on a diet. It's I can't give him a whole bunch of food whenever he wants it, because he would explode. Uh, that didn't satiate him either. Oh, there she is. It's... it's you. Mem's clothes are dirty, and her hair is matted. Good gods. I feared I would... I would have to stay here forever. Tears are running down her dirty cheeks, leaving light trails on her skin. Uh, what's the matter here? I think I broke my ankle. I was fighting some spiders and stepped on a stone, and it slipped, and I tripped and fell and hit my ankle. I managed to drive away the beasts, but it's still messed up. It hurts too much to walk on. I crawled for several hours, but I couldn't... Well, let me see. I failed. Mem's ankle looks swollen and red. You'll need help of an expert medic. I use magic. I have just a spell for you. There you go. Mem relaxes her shoulders in relief. Woo. Or view. Woo. We. Woo. Yeah, woo. That's much better. Thank you so much. Yes, I can walk now. But where should I go? Don't get me wrong, your highness. I, I suddenly realized what my third wish would be. What I need to do to find my inspiration. I must climb Talon Peak. To see the world from that height. To rise above myself. That's what my soul has been craving. But I don't know if I can make it. Everyone makes mistakes. But some give up while others stand up and go on. I'm going to climb this mountain. No matter what it takes. What about you? A smile appears on Mim's pale face. After all, what good would an ascent be if there weren't any obstacles along the way? I'm not giving up. Let's go. To the top. You're coming with me, right? Alright, so now I gotta climb the mountain again. I've already been up here, so, you know, nothing. Nothing new for me. Hopefully, I don't have to wait for her. She's already gonna be up here when I load in. That would be the bee's knees. Yep, there she is. Thank you so, so much, Don Victus. If it weren't for your help, I... Oh well. I think I'll stay here just a bit longer. Don't worry. I'll find my way back. I'm there. Right, so it's probably faster to take this. We should move. I 
And the craziest part is my cats used to not make any noise at all. Not a peep. And then one day, I think it was overnight, they just decided to start screaming for everything. Which is fine. I'm glad they're communicating when they want something. Resting would be nice, don't but... you think? <laughs> like, just screaming for the sake of screaming is a little different. Alright, so we'll teleport back to Tuskdale. Go to the throne room and have a conversation. So the next chapter, I think, should start soon. Adventures can wait. My next goal will be to claim Glenabon. A new day and a fresh victory, Your Highness. Another attack has been repelled, and your grateful subjects have a special reward for you. 14,100 gold. Lindsay gives you an oddly serious look. Well, we know who is behind the attacks. It was Tristian, wasn't it? He was so soft and kind. He was our friend. My mind is telling me he's a traitor, and we did the right thing to get rid of him. But my heart doesn't want to believe it. I... I miss him. The storyteller's voice is quiet but firm. In any case, I doubt that Tristian's absence will in any way prevent the next attack. The attacks will continue? I seriously doubt that Tristian was the one behind the attacks. I said before that I detected the magic of the Fae, and I remain sure of it. I think Tristian was only an accessory to our true foe. Well, we will prepare for the next attack. It doesn't matter who's behind it, we won't let them win. The storyteller nods. I am sure of it. Your kingdom is far stronger than your enemies imagine, as you remind them from time to time. I get ready for anything. Alright, so my next goal is to claim Glenabon. Do I have anything to do that doesn't require... Adori Fighting School will put... Hold on. Who... Who do I need for this? Okay, that works out. We'll put him on that, and then we will claim Glenabon ourselves. Which might unlock cities for us. I'm not sure. It might take until we claim Patox. Which isn't really a spoiler, because you can claim all the regions on the map. Two community, two loyalty, six divine. Hot dog. Aggressive expansion allows for faster region claims and upgrades, reducing the time required by half. We're going to put somebody on that right now. The circus. Tracking the path of the wild hunt. Wild horsemen howling, riding huge stallions, merge for the fog at night. Wow, only a 35% chance. Okay. Wow, all these are so low. Uh, the opportunity is least important. Um, I'm going to check a 27. I'm going to check a 21. Oh, uh, but we got to at least attempt them. Alright. So, supposedly, a letter arrived for us. Looks like we're finally about to see another part of that story about... Looks like we're finally about to see another part of that story about Darwin and Lynxia. Sorry, that sentence just seemed redundant. But this time, a peaceful solution seems an unlikely outcome. Lindsay sighs. Our esteemed captain has sent us a message. Here, take a look. He writes that he's built a city near your border, and invites you to be his guest. But this invitation has a... Sp but this invitation has a foul smell, if you ask me. Lynxia is bound to be there, too. I can bet that these two will be at each other's throats before we even even before we show up. Lindsay suddenly realizes something. You'll be offended that I read your letter, right? It's just that the courier uh, brought it in an unsealed paper, so I just... Fine, we'll go there as soon as we have time to spare. I guess we should hurry, or they'll probably kill each other before we even get there. 
So I think this has a time limit as well, so we'll take care of that real quick. Okay. Um, we'll build a settlement in Glenavon before we go down there. It's to the south, by the way. That's why I say down there. I don't remember this quest line progressing so quickly. Maybe it did, and I just put it off. Power Stone. Plus 4 enhancement bonus to strength. Ability cast full strength spell 3 times per day as a 3rd level wizard. So might need strength. He has a ridiculous amount of strength. It's actually not as much as I thought. Two for being a half work, four from his uh, bloodline, or being a dragon disciple, and six from Bell of Giant Strength. Okay. So maybe the Power Stone isn't as good as I would have liked. That's fine. All right. We might need to rest before we go. We'll rest on the way, because I'd rather rest out and about to see if there's an interaction with Kaisi. Oh, one more day, then she can start researching Fortikai. Oh, I need to go back in there and build the uh, the Glenabon town. I was thinking about putting it on the river, but I feel like it wouldn't be far enough into Glenabon for my liking. Oh, I guess I'll put it down here. That'll put me close to Patox as well. But I'd rather be over here towards the mountains. I guess it doesn't really matter. I'll just put it on the river. Like up here or something. That's too close to my other town. Let's put it here. Glenshire, we'll put it up. I don't know. Uh, North Bastion. I don't. I don't. Whatever. We'll go ahead and throw a few objects in here. Uh, let's see. A bulletin board, of course. Here's... Free tannery. Yeah, let's... Oh, it has to be by itself. We'll do that in our... Uh, main settlement, I think. A teleportation circle. I think that's everything that I care for. Okay. Well, I may as well put my free tannery somewhere, so where's my capital?
I'm gonna put it somewhere, gosh darn it. I need to find somewhere that has a an isolated <sighs> Okay. Varnhold might. Oops. Nope, no isolated areas. Son of a gun. Okay. That's right, that is the requirement. It has to be by itself. You can only be built in a separate slot. That, that's where I have all my teleportation circles. I don't want to tear those down. This one might have a an extra spare slot, right? No, it's just the center area. Gosh darn it. Alright, you know what? I'm not gonna worry about it. The next town I looked at is probably gonna have a spot for it, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bother. Alright, so there's Brian Hart. We gotta go all the way down here. All right, so that should be that or Octavia finishing. Yeah, that curse so should be put on this curse. All right, and that's all the curses we have currently. All right, welcome to Brineheart, everybody. Oh, we haven't rested. That's fine. Against me, you deserved it. I get it. There's a lot of enemies. All right. Big battle taking place. I'm off. Which is the best kind of battle. It's a pretty straightforward area. I think it's pretty linear. Alright. Oh, you're just in time. To be honest, I'd start to worry that you'd be late. Couldn't delay the show any longer. The criminal has summoned the traitor for help. I shouldn't be surprised. Lynxia's lips tighten in, uh, into a thin line. Then I just have to kill the both of you. Saves me time later. Yeah, let's finish her off, Darwin. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. Darwin's smile looks wolfish. Coward. Both of you are cowards and scum. Hell Knights, charge. Dad, you should be. This will hurt! Now we try to lock her down. Summon some skellies here. Oh, 
That's one poor Hell Knight. All right. He's peasy. Darwin stands over Linksia's body in silence, an expression of deep contemplation frozen on his face. A few moments later, he's grinning and brushing his hair with his fingers. You know, I've dreamt of this moment so many times. All my feelings seem burnt out. After so many years, my hunter is finally dead, and I stand over her dead body, making speeches full of pathos, melodramatic wisdom, and self-praise. But you know what? She deserves none of it. She who lived so wickedly cannot die an honest death. Darwin turns calmly away from the dead Lynxia, as if he's forgotten she ever existed at all. You made a deal with me, and remain true to your word to the end. In this regard, we are similar. I also keep my bargains by any means necessary. I've promised you a reward, and I shall keep my promise. This is all I have for now, except for Brineheart, of course. Darwin winks playfully. 50,000 gold. The neighbor like you, I need not be afraid of Hell Knights. Besides, I wouldn't expect them to dare venture this way anytime soon. Just give me a couple of days, and I'll fill the city with traders and merchants. And come back anytime. Don't be shy. You'll always be welcome in my city. So you're no longer afraid of Mammon's Wrath? Uh, the Archdevil values contracts above all else. I managed to establish Brineheart before the deadline, and my city will become a stronghold of Mammon's faith. A small price to pay for all that power, wouldn't you say? Alright, uh, well I'm glad that I helped your dream come true. And you earned a decent sum of money while you did. Darwin gives you an understanding smile. But, if we're talking seriously, I'm thrilled to have my lifelong dream come true. And it makes me doubly happy to realize that it's you who will be my neighbor. Well, alright, I'll, I'll most certainly be taking you up on that invitation. And for now, farewell. Goodbye, your highness. Hope to see you soon. Well, he's also a king. Should I not be referring to him as your highness? Unless my cat's starting to get a little rambunctious in the background. He's actually being pretty... Pretty quiet. I am curious what she drops. I don't think she drops anything unique. Uh, Linksia. Darwin might, though. Because again, you can choose either side. Uh, where is Linksia at? Most part, these are all the same. Okay, what does she have? Heavy shield plus two. Flaming longsword plus two. Full plate plus four. Okay. So some decent gear, I guess. A lot of stuff to sell. I think I'll just head back to the capital. Uh, we can continue upgrading our kingdom while we wait for the next stuff to appear. Actually, it might be faster. 10 hours. 14, yeah. We'll go here. Saves me 4 hours. <laughs> would be nice don't you think oh peaceful travelers I can dump all my my inventory on these guys or guy I'll sell that in the capital. The plus four, I think I'll give to Harem. Because it's... Well, I mean, it is better. So she had a flaming longsword plus two, which I don't... I can't identify just by looking at these. Yeah, I can. Not that I need it. All right, we got ourselves a deal. Ooh, cloak resistance plus six. Greater maximize magic. Wow, 261,000 for both of these. 140,000. 121,000. 
I'm not going to equip that because I, I don't do a good job of uh, actually managing my... Um, wands. The Cloak of the Bear is pretty good. I think I'll give it to him. Does anyone not have a Cloak of Resistance plus four? All right, that'll work. Yes, I think. Resting would be nice, don't you think? I'm not sure if the uh, the deal with the devil quest was bugged the first time through, but um, what am I trying to say? But it was really difficult to side with the Hell Knights. I tried to, uh, but it was also lawful good, so siding with lawful evil was a little more difficult than I than it probably should have been. I was interested, interested with siding with the Hell Knights. I think they have a building that allows you to prevent your kingdom's like status from falling. Uh, so like, I think right now I'm at Serene, which is the highest that your kingdom can be at. Also, I haven't checked his inventory in a long time. Let's see what Verdell has. He I don't think it's upgraded anymore. Yeah, it hasn't. Just a bunch of garbage. Wait, what's I Paragon never. of Winter? If that adds um, cold damage, it might be good on Ekadaya with his bow. Oh. Never mind. Oh, that's the thing that was dropped by uh, the Goblin Shaman in the Goblin Villager Fort. Fort. All right, so we should have time to upgrade at least one advisor. A little quick save before I do so, though. Oh yeah, we should probably talk to Valerie about the... Uh... Oh, we already did. Did I talk to Jathal about her quest? Yes, I believe I did. All right. Trading with Reinhardt. We will purchase 200 BP. Not 1,200, that would be ridiculous. Start that event. Alright, so we can upgrade the general. He could probably use it. The region is busy. Alright, so to the general. Here we go. Alright, up to rank 6. Plus 2 loyalty, plus 3 divine. She is now better. Outdoor fighting school, success, okay. The hero's reward. One of the army's commanders, member of a respectable family. Alright, it is a problem, we'll put her on that. People's wrath, we'll put him on this. Uh, I don't think he needs that. 75% chance is pretty good. Mysterious weed. Yeah, I think if it's at least 75%, I won't bother putting a Crisis Coin. Alright, we'll do the uh, Grand Diplomat here. Well, minus 100 BP, but we got four community, uh, four loyalty, and three economy. 
Disaster, that's fine. We didn't lose anything. He f she failed that. A little disappointed with that. Alright, so he'll improve himself. Let's go ahead and just put 100 BP down. Alright, Garen Diplomat wants to talk blank spots. He's still working on that. Joys of life. Alright, we'll claim that. Then, uh, who else can we rank up? Counselor and the Treasurer. But right now, the Grand Diplomat wants to talk. Uh, Your Highness, more and more delicate issues arise with your neighbors. You need a spy master, who should of course simply be called a minister. I could certainly hold the, this position, but a spy master sometimes learns too much about his lord. I wouldn't want you to have any I wouldn't want you to have even a shadow of a doubt about my loyalty. For now, let me simply report one such one of such delicate matter. There's a guard detail at the border, sent by the voice of the wind, a druid and diplomat from Seven Arches. They're hunting a criminal, an elf has escaped to our lands. I would imagine they're worried that someone might help the fugitives get to Kionan and ask our assistance in hunting him down. The voice of the wind is very knowledgeable. The winds whisper many secrets to him. It is wise to befriend such useful persons. If we must give them the elf to win their favor, then I'd consider it a bargain no matter who he or she no matter who he or she is or what he's done. There we go. Now tell me about this conflict between Seven Arches and Kionan. The elves claim they built Seven Arches for which the city is named, though the evidence of this is questionable. Anyway, the elves fled these lands, and druids of the Boulder tribes claimed this land for themselves. Any built, any built a flourishing settlement. And built. Yeah, sorry, typos. Now the elves of Kionin are demanding the return of Seven Arches, as the land is supposedly sacred to them. Though if you ask me, such a demand smells of deceit. In any case, the oak stewards who now rule Seven Arches have refused. As a result, there's very little peace between them. Yeah, help the guards find and arrest the runaway elf. Uh, very good. We will catch the criminal and hand him over to Seven Arches. I'm sure the voice of the wind will appreciate the gesture. It might even have some information to share about our neighbors. Neato. Plate of the Beast. That sounds cool. Herbalist cape. I think that is garbage. I remember I got a whole bunch of those last time I played through. Like, that's all he brought me was herbalist capes. Easy stride. Oh, here we go. And that is not all, your highness. The Varnhold militia is proud to report that the region has been freed from bandits and order has been restored. With him so hard, they flew all the way to Mandev. The people know it's all thanks to you. If you, had, if you hadn't helped us to gather the militia... The darn crooks would still be robbing and butchering us. We owe you a lot, and I'd like to make something special for you. Not long ago, I shot something down in the forest. I'm not even sure how to describe it. It was like a dragon, only smaller. I've never seen a beast so fierce. It's hide as a thing of beauty, and that's what I'll use for your gift. It'll make the best leather armor you've ever seen, let alone owned. Just say the word, and I'll start working on it. Okay, I don't think I could tell her to actually start working on it. Whoa, hey, he's back. Retribution. <laughs> okay, they just keep coming. Black Raven Staff. All right, we got a lot of stuff here. Black Raven Staff, it's a monk weapon, enhancement plus three. This plus three quarter staff grants its wielder the ability to cast Waves of Fatigue spell three times per day as a ninth level wizard, and Ray of Enfeeblement spell at will as a wizard of level equal to the wielder's character level. Retribution is a plus four flaming magic beast bane great axe. <laughs> That's a lot to say. Plus four flaming magic beast bane great axe. Uh, grants its wielder the ability to cast Eagle Soul spell once per day as a 14th. 14th level cleric. That's pretty good. 
Plate of the Beast, this plus two burst plate grants us where plus four enhancement bonus to constitution, and the ability to cast Aspect of the Wolf Spell once per day as a 10th level druid. Easy Stride, these boots grant the wearer a plus five confidence bonus on all stealth checks, and the ability to cast Dimension Door spell once per day as a 7th level wizard. I'm gonna give this to her. Herbalist Kate grants its wearer a plus four enhancement bonus to intelligence, and a plus five confidence bonus to all lore nature checks, and the ability to cast Delay Poison spell three times per day as a third level cleric. So mediocrity all around. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Plus one to relations. Region claims and upgrades cost 15% less. Gonna put him on that. All right, we have our final advisor. Put any of them on there. I think Jathal would probably be the best for that. I'm gonna put Ekendayo on it though. Cause I like Ekendayo. All right, so these are all the advisors. Do I have anything? No. All right, so in the next episode, we will rank up, continue ranking up our kingdom in preparation for events to come. In the meantime, I am going to call it here. And yeah, we already have the plan for the next episode. So thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one.